My multicultural superhero. My multicultural superhero. My multicultural superhero. My multicultural superhero. My multicultural superhero is Martin Luther King Jr. He was the leader of the civil rights movement. Um, he fought against racial discrimination and injustice towards his people. He received the Nobel Prize uh, for combating racism, racial inequality. He was assassinated because he challenges the status, the system of power and ra racism, daring to change the status quo. I would like to share my, one of my favorite uh, quotes of King's, the time is always right to do what is right. Today, uh, racism is thriving in our community. My multicultural superhero inspires me not to be a bystander, rather to speak out against racism. So my multicultural superhero is my mother-in-law, who was born and raised in Jamaica, received her education in England, and settled here in Saskatchewan. She has battled racism on a personal level and within the community. Throughout her life, she has protected and celebrated not just her own culture and traditions, but other cultures and traditions as well. She is welcomed and embraced in son-in-law from the United States and a daughter-in-law from Germany. Being in an interracial marriage has put her on the spot several times, but she has always dealt with the issue with grace, compassion, and understanding. My mother-in-law has advocated for immigrants and newcomers, especially women. She has taught classes to help newcomers understand the new culture they are part of. She is a role model to her six grandchildren and the community at large, living multiculturalism daily. Ms. Tasneem Zaman taught us in grade 5 and then in grades 9 and 10. She is my multicultural superhero because she didn't mind being different and she herself defied norms of the society. She stood up for the most vulnerable, whether it was her students or people in the community. She had the courage to fight stereotypes despite her own adversity in life that started in form of losing her father who was murdered during a racial war in 1971. She was a strong believer in girls' empowerment even though we lived in a very strict patriarchal society. She was able to instill in us a love of learning, books and reading. She knew this was the only vehicle that can help us grow beyond what society outlined for us. When society wanted us to mold into pre-shaped roles, she, she encouraged us to push it and imagine ourselves in non-traditional roles. We trusted her vision and many of us were able to achieve it. Nelson Byrd is my multicultural superhero. He has spent his life uh, fighting racism and oppression. He's been able to use his media career to communicate and teach the traditions of Saskatchewan's Indigenous peoples. Over the years, Nelson has also educated his workplace on Indigenous issues. He has been willing to sit on panels and discuss these issues and provide his expertise as a member of the media. He is never shy to uh, teach and share the traditions of the Indigenous people. In particular, he's been a very strong role model and father figure to some people. Has been quite willing to bridge the gap culturally and form relationships interculturally with Syrian refugees and other newcomers and help settle them uh, by dropping off clothing and other, other articles that were needed. And he asked me to join him a few times uh, earlier in 2016. And it was a really positive experience for me where I had the chance to get to know him a lot better. For these reasons and so many more, Nelson Bird is my multicultural superhero. My multicultural superhero is Lori Whiteman. My first connection to her was when she was an education student and she taught me to make a dream catcher. We went on to work together on Regina Public Schools ACT program. She always sought ways for youth and adults to work together as leaders for anti-racism and cross-cultural education. Lori is always able to create an atmosphere for people to connect across differences with respect. Her warm and generous heart encouraged the people around her to see their strengths and have the courage to confront racism and oppression. Lori is a champion of Indigenous culture and ways of learning. She takes risks as she works towards equity and inclusion. Lori is not only a multicultural superhero, but she nurtures those around her and creates opportunities for others to act on their inner superpowers. Thank you.